friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review, demo, swatches, and comparisons on two of the products from the Hourglass Sculpture Collection. And I'm talking about the Ambient Sculpture and Lock Face Quad as well as the Confession Lipstick Duo. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you wanna see these two new products from Hourglass Holiday 2020 collection, then just keep on watching. say that during the holiday season one of the most look after makeup collections is the one from Hourglass and they just released it. It's called the Sculpture Collection. I went ahead and picked up everything from the collection. It comes with two face palettes and one lipstick duo. I only received up to today because I, I keep checking on my door. It's like, is my other package there or not? But oh well. I received two products. One is the Ambient Sculpture and Lock, and this is a Lighting Edit Mini, as well as the Hourglass Confession Refillable Lipstick Duo. Again, a sculpture collection right here. Both of the products they are made in Italy. This face palette costs $58 and it has a shelf life of 12 months while the Lipstick Duo, again, is made in Italy and it has a shelf life of 18 months. It comes with two different shades right here and we're just gonna go ahead and unbox it and show everything to you. If I haven't said it, this Lipstick Duo costs $48 and let's just get to open it up. But before, let me show you the unicard of the Ambient Sculpture and Lock. And then on the back you find more details, where is it made, expiration date, and all that jazz. Okay, my friends, so let's just give a peek to what it looks like. You may have seen it because I already posted on my Instagram. I had it too. I couldn't resist. Like, do you want to see it? I'm sure a lot of people, they want to see it. They want to make sure that it's something for them. So I got the baby right over here. Look at this, I know it's very shiny. I mean, this is Fingerprints World. I'm trying to grab it from the back. I really love the packaging. It's, I mean, it's an architectural design and it's just so pretty. And then when you open it up, here is the base. I say that this is such a beauty. And basically on this palette, you're receiving a soft light finishing powder, a golden light bronzer, a blush in the shade Mood Flash, and then the highlighter in Champagne Strove Light. Let's go ahead and swatch this baby. Let's start first with the bronzer. And I'm going to be using my Sonia G Face Pro Brush. Now this brush, you could, I mean, it's a big brush, but the size of the pants, although it's small, they are not tiny that you cannot get your, you know, your bronzer brush in it. And let's go to town with this. Now, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for stopping by. I do have a light to medium skin tone. I do have all my foundation matches on the description box below, as well as the makeup that I'm using today. That way you can serve you as a reference. Okay, now let's go for the blush. And I'm using my Sonia G Soft Cheek. Now that I have very close right here, and because not too long ago, Hourglass came out with a new blush called At Night. What about we do something? I have already applied this blush right here on this side of my face. Let's go ahead and apply this other blush on this side of my face so you can take a peek of how it looks. I'm going to be using my BK Beauty 104 brush, and I'm going to apply At Night on this side. You know what? They are very close in tone. I would say at night, maybe just a little bit more berry in tone than mood flash. Let me just give you a swatch right here and let's compare. So I'm gonna go first with mood flash. Then I'm gonna be very strategic right here and swatch this side. 
Another thing too, at night is a lot deeper. So I have at night here on the middle finger and then more flash right here on my index. Definitely more flash is more muted done at night. Okay, so now let's continue with this. Let's go for the highlighter. Look at that. So beautiful and beaming. <laughs> and by the way, I'm using my Refer 20 fan brush. And now let's go with the finishing powder. And I'm going to be using my Sonia G Master Face. And I'm just going to bath. The beauty of the finishing powders from Hourglass is that they don't take the sheen that is on your skin. It just leaves it more it just it just gives a soft focus blur to the skin and now let's go for the lipstick duo and i mean the packaging this time is just so gorgeous <laughs> look at this right here i know it's gonna be maybe hard to see i hope the camera picks up look at that Stunning. And the lipstick duo comes with two different shades. One that is called at dusk and the other one is called, let me tell you, at dawn. Okay, so I think, yeah, right here, the one that I have right here is at dawn. And let me see. Okay, this is just press and pull. It's not magnetic. And let's see right here. Here I have at dawn which is a shade that I really, really like. And here I have at dusk. So to put the refill on, I already have taken out the other one. And this is how the refill comes. You just need to pull out and then pull the bottom part out too. And then you go ahead and just put it in until it clicks. And I have go ahead and swatch them both on my hand. The top one is at dusk and the bottom one is at dawn. Okay, I'm gonna first try the shade at dusk, it's the darkest one. Wow, this is a gorgeous red with a blue undertone to it. I'm impressed. Now, I'm going to try at dawn right now. And if I haven't mentioned it yet, both of these lipsticks, they are satin lipsticks. What a gorgeous shade, my friends. This is beautiful. This is your everyday nude shade. And although it looks a little bit pink in comparison, honestly, on the lips, or at least, you know, in contrast with my skin tone, doesn't look either too pink or two, I mean it's just very, very kind of like in the middle, it has a little bit of warmth, but it has still a little bit of pink, such a beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous shade right here. Okay friends, now let's go into prices and comparisons, since I just tried the lipstick, let's go for the lipstick first. So if you were to buy one of the confession lipsticks from Hourglass, whether it's at Sephora, Beautylish, Hourglass.com, whatever it is, right? They come in this packaging. Very beautiful too, very sleek, very feminine. I mean, they look like cigarette <laughs> type of thing, right? So you don't get this new sculpture, you know, limited edition type of packaging. You don't get this experience. Now, these cost $36. You are getting two of these because at the end, the refill is you know the refill is just a refill I and mean, like you're getting two different shades for 48 dollars so i think it's a great price because otherwise it will cost you if you were to buy something like this it will cost you a total of 72 dollars so price wise is good now you're going to say grams the grams are the same so weight is exactly the same you receive the same amount of product whether you know you 
get it on this set right here or whether you do this right here you know each of the refills they come with the same amount of product which is 0.9 grams per each of these refills that they are inside now going here into this mini face palette which is called the sculptural log lighting edit mini <laughs> Okay, so long. Everything will be linked in the description box below. It's basically the mini version of the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlock, which is this one right here. This came out two years ago. It came back last year, but it's not longer available. And basically what it is, is the lightest finishing powder right here, the blush in the middle, the highlighter, and the bronzer so it is the reduced version okay these palettes right here they cost eighty dollars which it comes out that each of these pants cost you about thirteen dollars and thirty cents this one right here on the opposite side if you were to divide it this is fifty eight dollars it will come out that the each pan it's about fourteen dollars with fifty cents something along those lines now weight wise each of the pants right here and right here they are 1.4 grams of product the same one now if you were to go for example to sephora website hourglass sells not only the regular size lashes and bronzers on their regular size compacts this comes with 4.2 grams of product they also sell it on travel size which is smaller than this one in fact they are the same size as these babies right here with that 1.4 grams of product those cost $24 so if you want to know price comparisons I will say definitely this is your best value to try the brand if you want to try you know a little bit of everything you're basically buying four travel size but for I mean you're saving right here about $40 if you were to buy the travel size of say each of these ones does it make sense so these ones right here they are always your better value with hourglass more than anything that eight even eighty dollars that sounds you know like really expensive so price wise there's a saving right there okay now let me just show to you a comparison swatches between these ones to see if there's any the slightest difference right here on the finishing powder it's gonna be very hard to see but i don't think there's much difference at all this one is from the new one the mini one and this one right here is from the older version i mean I honestly don't think there's much of a difference let's go right here let me just show it to you this is finishing powder and I know I just like dig in a little bit more I will say perhaps the new one is just a little bit warmer in tone than the previous version the one from what is it 2018 but just in the slightest and with finishing powders you know unless you have a tan or deeper complexion it will make obviously a difference now let's go into the bronzer so top one and swatching the new palette and then bottom swatching the oldest version so looking at right here perhaps the older version looks just a little bit deeper so here's a newer version of the bronzer and here's the oldest one Now let's go into the blush again. New one first, the oldest version. These ones they look very much alike to each other. I mean, doesn't look like much of a difference. Yep, these are the same thing. The same same thing. Okay, and then let's go for the highlighter, which is these one right here is one of my favorite highlighters. So again, I'm gonna go first with this one on my index, and then um, let's just swatch here and here. And next time, I'm gonna put my bracelet on the other hand. But there you go. That's the comparisons right there between the older and the newer version. So I mean, if you already have this one and you don't feel like decluttering it. Again, thinking that this has a 12 month shelf life and I know I have it for way over 12 months. It's gonna be almost two years since I got it. Um, if you're not gonna declutter it, then 
you know like you can just keep it and skip on this one right here now if you really really want you know something mini and these are the products that actually stood up for you from this palette right here then this is an excellent option right here or if you were never able to get this palette right here and you were really curious about this palette but didn't want to pull the trigger pay the $80 or whatever the case is and you just want to try something a smaller version and just try the quality of hourglass I will say this one right here is an excellent product $58 I don't think it's a lot for our glass. I mean, if we're gonna go to comparisons with prices of other brands, then that's a different story. But just talking exclusively ab about our glass, it is a good price. Now, this palette, along with the lipstick duo and also the new sculpture palette that comes in this kind of packaging right here that I'm awaiting still for, those they are gonna be available at stores at different retailers on September 25th. Right now, the sculpture collection is only available at Hourglass again until September 25th. My honest opinion right here is Hourglass products, they are totally worth it. Completely worth it. They are really beautiful. They just apply seamlessly. And you're right now watching a person that has 40 years old that I don't want to emphasize my large pores, my texture, my fine lines, and all that jazz. And I think Hourglass, they just have an amazing formulation to just give you the most beautiful soft blur effect for most of the ear powders now for which skin tones this powder work for I do have again a light to medium skin tone but I have friends here on YouTube too that they use this palette that they are medium medium to tan skin tone and they are still using it now if you are into the deep spectrum rich spectrum this will not work for you and that's the only thing that I feel very unfortunate about our glass they give really good thoughts of their products but they are not listening to the consumers I mean I'm not talking about just youtubers reviewers you know influencers in general I'm talking about their mass consumers that they are asking we want to see deeper tones give us deeper tones if you come out during the holidays with this palette give one for richer skin tones for the deepest ones go ahead and do it why not you will have a great great response and I think that's the only thing that I will say unfortunately Hourglass is just not listening. I really hope and it may happen because they released this mini one. It makes me feel that aside to this one and aside to the sculpture, the APAN palette, like I said, that I'm expecting to receive fairly soon so I can review it for you. I have hopes that they will come out with a second APAN palette or another quartet like this as we enter into the meat of the holiday season perhaps an entering of November or end of October and hopefully that's the case and hopefully that specific one is a little bit deeper to cater those with richer complexions. Anyhow my friends overall I'm super happy with my purchase everything absolutely everything for the lipstick shades the beautiful presentation the quality of the product i'm super happy with my purchase now i would love to know what you think about this new sculpture collection are you gonna pick up anything of that maybe the lipstick duo maybe the quartet maybe the avon palette what are you excited for or you're just gonna go ahead and be like no let's just skip it all over also would you like to see from me a will i buy it video dedicated to the holiday collection there's a ton that we can talk about and i think that will be something fun to do and that way you can give me your feedback on what reviews would you like to see of which collections so go ahead leave that comment down below and while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i think you're waiting too long i hope that you will consider you will give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel do not forget to read post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads here i have a lot of great content new makeup releases reviews hauls you name it i have great content right here for you and come and follow me on my instagram help me grow my family there as well if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye bye